Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is Beth from Reality Life Series and I have been making videos for ATIT's exam. In this video, I have prepared 10 review questions about science and I included explanation in every question that I have to go over. So the first question is, what are the chances that a child will not have the recessive allele if both of his parents are carriers of spinal muscular atrophy or SMA, which is an autosomal recessive disorder? Is it A, 100%, is it B, 25%, C, 0%, or D, 50%? Again, what are the chances that a child will not have the recessive allele if both of his parents are carriers of spinal muscular atrophy or SMA, which is an autosomal recessive disorder. A, 100%, B, 25%, C, 0%, or D, 50%. Make sure you grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen so that you can write your answer. So, the answer for this question is letter B, 25%. SMA is an autosomal recessive genetic condition. This means that a child must inherit two non-working copies of the SMN1 gene, typically one from each parent, in order to have SMA. When two parents are carriers, there is a 25% chance that their child will be unaffected. Okay, then number two, when the individual is lying face down, the position is said to be what? A, supine, B, prone, C, proximal, or D, distal. Again, when the individual is lying face down, the position is said to be A, supine, B, prone, C, proximal, or D, distal. The answer is letter B, prone position. Proning is the process of turning a patient with precise, safe motions from their back onto their abdomen or stomach. So, if the individual is lying face down, it is said to be prone position. And the opposite for prone position is supine, which means if a patient or someone is lying belly down. Did you get it? Okay, now let's proceed to the next question. Okay, this question, the following belong to the immune system, except A, the adrenal glands, B, the lymphatic system, C, the spleen, or D, the thymus. Again, the following belong to the immune system, except A, the adrenal glands, B, the lymphatic system, C, the spleen, or D, the thymus. Okay, the answer to this is letter A, the adrenal glands. Adrenal glands belongs to the endocrine system. The rest belongs to immune system. Okay, next question. The organ system that is primarily responsible for metabolism, sorry, metabolism regulation, human growth, and mood is blank. A, respiratory system. B, digestive system, C, endocrine system, or D, lymphatic system. Again, the organ system that is primarily responsible for metabolism regulation, human growth, and mood is blank. A, respiratory system, B, digestive system, C, endocrine system, or D, lymphatic system. Okay, so the answer to this is letter C endocrine system. The endocrine hormones help control mood, growth, and development the way our organs work, metabolism, and reproduction. So that's the function of the organ system. Next question. The main function of the pineal gland is blank. Is A 
to receive information about the state of the sleep-wake cycle from the environment and convey this information to produce and secrete the hormone melatonin, B, to form a tight barrier that prevents foreign substances from entering the body while minimizing the loss of moisture, heat, and other constituents, C, to produce critical hormones, which are chemical substances that control various bodily functions, or D, none of the abo above. Again, the main function of the pineal gland is A, to receive information about the state of the sleep-wake cycle from the environment and convey this information to produce and secrete the hormone melatonin, B, to form a tight barrier that prevents foreign substances from entering the body while minimizing the loss of moisture, heat, and other constituents. C, to produce critical hormones, which are chemical substances that control various bodily functions, or D, none of the above. So the correct answer here is letter A. B is the function for keratinocytes, and C is for pituitary gland. C is the function for pituitary gland. Okay? Okay, for the next question, it is the natural pacemaker of the heart. A, AV node, B, SA node, C, right atrium, or D, aorta. Again, it is the natural pacemaker of the heart. A, AV node, B, SA node, C, right atrium, or D, aorta. The answer is letter B, SA node. The SA node is the heart's natural pacemaker. The SA node consists of a cluster of cells that are situated in the upper part of the wall of the right atrium, the right upper chamber of the heart. The electrical impulses are generated there. The SA node is also called the sinus node. So another term for SA node is sinus node. Okay, next question. Digestive system is to liver and nervous system is to blank. A. Heart. B. Lungs. C. Brain. Or D. Stomach. Okay, the digestive system is to liver and nervous system is to blank. Is it A. Heart. B. Lungs. C. Brain. Or D. Stomach. Okay, the answer is letter C. Brain is a part of the nervous system. The rest is part of um, something else, like the lungs is part of the respiratory system, and the stomach is part of the digestive system, and the heart is part of... Okay, guess what? <laughs> okay, next question. What is the name of the structure that prevents food from entering the airway? A. Esophagus B. Larynx C. Pharynx or D. Epiglottis What is the name of the structure that prevents food from entering the airway? A. Esophagus B. Larynx C. Pharynx or D. Epiglottis the answer is letter D, epiglottis. The epiglottis is a small, movable lid just above the larynx that prevents food and drink from entering your windpipe. Okay. Okay, so next question. Which pyrimidin cannot exist in RNA? Again, which pyrimidin cannot exist in RNA? A, adenine. B, uracil. C. Guanine or D. Thymine. Again, which pyrimidine cannot exist in RNA? A. Adenine, B. Uracil, C. Guanine or D. Thymine. Okay, the answer to this is thymine. Cytosine is found in both DNA and RNA, although cytosine is not um, in there, but um, I'm just giving you information. Uracil is found only in RNA. Thymine is normally found in DNA, so thymine cannot exist in RNA. 
okay number next question it is a form of severe protein malnutrition characterized by edema and an enlarged liver with fatty infiltrates. It is caused by insufficient calorie intake but with insufficient protein consumption which distinguishes it from marasmus. Again, it is a kind of disease that is a form of severe protein malnutrition characterized by edema and an enlarged liver with fatty infiltrates. It is caused by sufficient calorie intake, intake, but with insufficient protein consumption, which distinguishes it from marasmus, A, quashor core, B, anemia, C, carpal tunnel syndrome, or D, rickets. I'll repeat. Um, it is a form of severe protein malnutrition characterized by edema and an enlarged liver with fatty infiltrates. It is caused by insufficient calorie intake, but with insufficient protein consumption, which distinguishes it from marasmus. A. Quasher core. B. An anemia. C. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Or D. Rickets. So the answer to this is Quasher core. Letter A. Quasher core. Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues, while rickets is the softening and weakening of bones in children, usually because of an extreme and prolonged vitamin D deficiency. While carpal tunnel syndrome, also called median nerve compression, is a condition that causes numbness, tingling or weakness in your hand. It happens because of pressure on your median nerve which runs the length of your arm, goes through a passage in your wrist called the carpal tunnel, and ends in your hand. That's why it's called carpal tunnel syndrome. And rickets is a different kind of disease. Okay? So, let's see. Okay, that's it for this review and I hope you learned something and if you have any question and suggestion uh, for my future videos, please go ahead um, comments down below and I would be very happy to um, make a video for you. So this is Beth from Reality Life Series and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Click the notification bell so that you will be updated for my future review videos. Have a good day. Bye.